So our goal today is to assemble the train from all the parts we've built in previous lessons. This train might be a little bit different. This is the Chris and Jim Sim train. It has a headlight and it uses 832 screws to secure everything together. It also doesn't have a magnet on the back. We are going to use screw eyes and hooks instead to hold all the cars together. So the first thing we need to do is say uh, file and let's pick a new assembly. So we'll start with a new assembly and we have to start by placing all of our components into the assembly. I like to insert as few parts as possible at a time, keep my uh, workspace kind of neat. So I'm going to start by placing the train body. And if you happen to click an extra train body in there, it happens, or an extra any part, you can just hit escape, get out of the place tool, right click on a part, and click delete. You can also go over here to your tree and click on the part that you want to delete, right click and click delete as well. So we'll start with our train body. Let's do a simple part. Uh, let's choose, we'll place the stack. Let's do the stack first. So here's the stack and we want to insert the stack into this hole. I'm going to use my rotate tool and rotate this around so I can see the bottom of the hole because what I want to do when we do use the insert we want to insert the right part of this into the right part of this so let's try it. I'm going to use constraint and if I choose the insert constraint and I choose the bottom edge of this and the bottom edge of that hole it inserts correctly and I can say apply. I can also if I look at this if I rotate this and I look, I see, well, it might be in a little bit too deep because I might have drilled that hole a little too deep. I can always use the offset and offset it by whatever distance I think is necessary. And that looks like it's too much. You see that's sticking out a little bit. So let's try point, uh, zero 0.05 and see what that looks like. Okay, looks good. So there's an offset. That's how you use an offset. And just make sure you click apply when you're done. Let's cancel out. Let's put another part in. Let's start with a headlight. We'll put a headlight in the front. Place it right there and make sure again we want to place this edge of the headlight into the bottom edge of that hole. So let's try it. Make sure you don't get that top edge. If you get that top edge, that's what happens and it doesn't go inside, go into the hole. I could use the offset command, but let's just try it again. I'm going to say cancel. We'll try again. Make sure you choose the insert command and don't forget. Pick the inside edge to the inside edge and apply. There we go. So let's do the wheels now. I'm going to place my wheels and my screws, two of my screws. And I'm going to place them two at a time. I'm going to put one there, one there, and hit escape to get out of the place tool. Pick another part. I'm going to choose the 832 screw and put an 832 screw in for there and a screw in for there. So a wheel actually has to be inserted into the body. And by that, what we mean is the center of this hole has to be inserted to the center of this hole. So in order to get the right side of the hole, let's flip this wheel around. So if we, right, if we click on the wheel, right click, we can say free rotate. Notice also that the letter G is free rotate as well. That's the shortcut for it. So we can free rotate our wheel so that we have this side of our wheel looking at us. zoom in a little bit so that we can see it. So now if I click on this, I can also turn my screw around a little bit so I can see the back side of the screw because here's what has to happen. When I use the insert constraint for this, I'm going to choose insert and I want to make sure that this edge of the back side of the wheel hole touches this edge. So I have to pick the two things that are going to touch in order for the insert to work correctly boom we can say apply in real life you might want to put a couple thousands in there just to leave a little bit of space so your wheel moves freely 
for this we can do that with the offset for this video we're just going to just stick everything together let's do the insert command from the screw and again notice I picked where I want the screw head to touch the wheel and we can say apply slide down let's do the other side make sure we're on the insert command let's cancel out because I want to turn these around I'm going to use my hotkey of G to rotate this around so I can see the back side of that screw click on this and use the hotkey G to rotate this wheel around so I can see the back side of the wheel sorry about that I forgot my mouse my mouse is at school I'm doing this at home and therefore uh, it's a pain kind of a pain in the butt but it'll make it a little bit slower too so choose our constraint insert let's choose the back edge of the wheel and the back edge of that hole don't forget to hit apply or it'll go back where it came from how about the screw again the back head of the back side of the head has to go into the front of that wheel hole and apply let's see what it looks like there we go we're getting somewhere uh, next step let's place another part we'll place a oh I don't know let's do the link arm seems like the next logical step put the link arm in and let's hit escape we'll place another couple screws this time I'll use the short screws we picked the size screw so that you could use your screws for your vex parts let's zoom in a little bit and let's figure out how we're going to do this So what we need to do now is take this link arm and make this edge of this hole, because this link arm front and back are exactly the same, it doesn't really matter which way this goes on. So let's do an insert constraint and insert that edge of that hole to, remember, we want that blue edge that we just selected to touch that edge right there. Apply it. Let's hit escape for a second, and then we'll bring this thing around and see if we can't come close to this over here because we're going to do the same thing. Let's get tricky now and choose the insert command. Pick the inside of that. Notice I picked the inside because that's what I want to touch this right here and say apply. Let's escape out of that. Hot key G will get that rotated for me escape hot key G rotate escape and again it's just a basic another basic insert and apply and apply Looking good. The only thing we're missing now is the cow catcher and the other two the other side. So let's try the cow catcher. The cow catcher has been redesigned as well. Uh, the cow catcher now has two larger nubbies on the back. And those two nubbies go in those two holes. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. and let's pick one and again it's, it's just an insert because everything's round so let's insert when you we have to pick the right one so we pick the inside edge of the nub and we want it to touch pick the right hole now pick the edge of the hole and click apply notice we can't see the other nubby so let's rotate this around like so and then constrain let's use the rotate tool sorry rotate this around so we can see the bottom 
let's constrain. You can work through the parts too. This is just the way I do it. So let's constrain. Let's first pick insert. Almost forgot. And insert that into that. And apply. And there we got our cow catcher in place too. Well, that ends that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it over and do the other parts. I'll do that silently and I'll do it uh, so that if you want to stick around, you can uh, watch it again. Uh, if not, we're all set. That's the train. The other side's exactly the same as this side.